All right, so since Hurricane Harvey, the Houston Humane Society says they've seen an increase in ringworm that really hasn't showed any signs of slowing down. It's one of the few illnesses that can be passed back and forth between people, pets, and the surfaces you touch. Now that it's officially spring, there's even more reason for concern. The fungal infection is not actually a worm, but can appear in circular shapes, which is how it got its name, ringworm, and it can affect both humans and pets. Even worse, it actually spreads from humans to pets and vice versa. It causes itchy skin, ring-shaped rash, red, scaly, cracked skin, and hair loss. With our climate and with it always being kind of warm and humid in Houston, it's something we battle year-round and we see a large um, outbreak of it in the spring and summer months. To protect your pets, make sure it's seen by a vet so treatment can be started. If one of your pets has ringworm, make sure you check every pet in the household. Um, it's very itchy and uncomfortable, so you do want to treat it as quickly as possible. It can spread, so we've had animals come in that, you know, half to three-fourths of their body in really, really aggressive cases can be covered in ringworm. According to the Centers for Disease Control, your vet may prescribe antifungal shampoos, creams, dips, or pills. During this time, the pet should be handled as little as possible until the infection is cleared. Vacuuming areas that pets commonly visit can help. Then be sure to wash your bed sheets and clothes every day while you're infected. Keep your skin clean and dry. Apply drying powders, lotions, or creams, and wash your hands with soap and running water after playing with or petting your pet. Now, ringworm is worse for people and animals with compromised immune systems. The young and old are the most vulnerable. That's the same for both animals and, and people. It is easier and more affordable to treat it quick and early versus waiting until there's secondary issues going on. Good to know.